All right, welcome everybody to our 10 a.m. Collider coffee break, where we just update you on what we've been working on this week and keep you up to date on the latest news and programming from Collider. So thanks for joining us this morning. So I will turn it over to Jamie to let us know what he's been working on this week. Thanks so much, Amanda. So it's been a pretty busy week for me, uh, doing a lot of uh, virtual activity. So uh, we just finished yesterday our first Collider Spark series with Natalie Nixon, who did a fantastic job. Just really, uh, she's a world expert on creativity and just being able to sort of understand how creativity has played a role in innovation and in entrepreneurship, but also uh, in the future, why creativity is, is going to be even more important. Um, so I was really happy to have a great discussion with her and that video will be available um, probably down in, in the comments section here where you could take a look at that as well. Uh, the second thing is I uh, spent two days, Monday and Tuesday, uh, at, at a virtual conference. Uh, it's the One Million Cups Organizers Summit, which is an annual event, typically held in Kansas City, but because of COVID, it went virtual this year. Uh, so I learned a lot uh, by meeting a ton of different people from all over the country who are doing One Million Cups. And for those of you that don't know, uh, One Million Cups is either a monthly or weekly gathering of, uh, of the entrepreneurial community to hear from two entrepreneurs. Uh, each of these entrepreneurs uh, presents a story for about six, uh, six minutes. Uh, and then uh, they, the powerful question is, what can the community do for you? So it's really asking those presenting entrepreneurs, what's a challenge you have right now? And it's getting the entire community sort of assembled around them to help solve uh, that particular problem. So uh, it was just good to get there to meet all these different organizers and hopefully that bodes well for our 1 million cups uh, coming up here in the future. Uh, the third thing, speaking of the Kauffman Foundation, is a reminder to anyone who is in the field of ecosystem building, um, which is a fairly new field, uh, or is interested just in how to support entrepreneurs, uh, to check out the eShip Summit. Again, this is run through the Kauffman Foundation. Um, eShip uh, this year will again be virtual. So unfortunately, we won't be able to go to Kansas City. We won't be able to get free Kansas City Royals tickets, which was always something that uh, was fun to uh, go to either the One Million Cups or the eShip Summit. Um, but uh, it's September 15th and 16th. And then there's actually another session on September 29th. So I really highly recommend it. The, the the fee is $95, which is super low compared to what it's been in the past. Uh, so I just highly recommend that if you care about supporting entrepreneurs, if you're an entrepreneur and want to learn how to support others, uh, eShip's a great place to start. It is the biggest gathering of passionate people who want to help uh, entrepreneurs succeed in their communities. And this year, I think there's a big push to finalize a lot of the work that we've done in previous years at, at the summit to really codify and create best practices for uh, entrepreneurial ecosystem builders. And so I'm really excited to uh, hear the results on that. And so yeah, you could check out, again, I'll have a link here in the comments below where you could check out the eShip Summit. And uh, again, highly, highly recommend that you attend. Um, you'll know at least one person who's there, and I'm assuming Amanda will also be there. So uh, I think it's a, it's a great time. You're going to learn a lot. And with that, I'm going to hand it back to Amanda. So the first thing I wanted to talk about and remind all of you about is that we're actually hiring three contract individuals to work with Collider to be part-time ecosystem navigators. So um, we're looking for three individuals, and these individuals will serve within the female entrepreneurial community here in Rochester, the black entrepreneurial community in Rochester, or the Hispanic entrepreneurial community here in Rochester. And the person serving them in the Hispanic community also must uh, speak Spanish. So what are we looking for in these individuals? Really, we're just looking for someone passionate about community who is here in Rochester, who has relationships um, in the entrepreneurial ecosystem. And what these navigators will do 
is they'll listen to entrepreneurs within the community and really understand what they need at this moment to further their business or to further their professional development or their personal development. And that navigator will help to connect them in to whatever resource they need most at that time. So we can train navigators on what resources are available in the community, uh, how to actively listen, but really we're looking for people very passionate about the community who are here in Rochester and ready to serve. So you can access that application on the Collider website at collider.nn. Uh, it's an easy application. We just want a cover letter and your resume sent to hello at collider.mn by August 28th when the application will close. And we're looking to bring these ecosystem navigators online by September 15th. As I mentioned, this is a part-time position. So we're looking at 15 hours per month. So check it out. You can read more details on the Collider website. Uh, for more information about these ecosystem navigator positions. We are starting our interviews next week. We already have several uh, very strong candidates. So I'm really excited to get to know them better. Um, but please get your application in if you are interested by August 28th. So also, um, I just wanted to update everyone on the progress with Collider's Basics of Entrepreneurship, Entrepreneurial Education Program. So I haven't talked about this in a few weeks. But we're really getting towards the end of the program. I think this week we're at week, it's every Tuesday. So this Tuesday will be week seven uh, out of eight. So this week coming up, um, we're at, the participants are actually looking at, they've already identified their target market. They made personas, which they had a lot of fun with. This past week, we had Dan and Natalie Slagle of Hughes Financial Planning come in and talk to the participants and they were very engaging. Everyone really enjoyed it. Um, they had fun talking about personas. And this next week coming up, we have Shandu Valori of Infusion Foods come in and he's going to talk about how do they gain their next 10 customers? How do you think about that? And how do you uh, focus your resources for that growth? And that'll be their last kind of lecture style um, session until they're, before their final uh, celebratory day. So I'm really excited about the progress everyone has made in this class. Um, you can definitely hear people starting to think um, in a more narrow focused manner, uh, which is fantastic. And we just want everyone to have this tool set so they can take it and apply it moving forward whenever that is. Uh, so we do have information about the basics of entrepreneurship program on the Collider website. And we are collecting emails for people who are interested in taking it if it's offered again. So if this is something you're interested in, uh, sign up and get on that email list and we'll let you know um, if we offer this program again or whatever else, whatever other educational programming Collider offers. And lastly, I wanted to update you all on the stories we shared on Rochester Rising this week. On the podcast this week, uh, we shared episode 188, where we got to listen in to a recent E1 Tech Talk. E1 stands for Entrepreneurs First. It's a collaborative of 15 different organizations across southeastern Minnesota to support entrepreneurs, tech entrepreneurs, and to leverage resources across um, southeastern Minnesota. So the E1 Tech Talk is a monthly program uh, to provide inspiration for tech entrepreneurs in southeast Minnesota. And I actually got to moderate uh, that session with David Russick, who is a serial entrepreneur, and he's also one of the co-founders of Gopher Angels, which is a local investment group that's based in Minneapolis. So please check it out. You can find that on the Rochester Rising website, as well as on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and on the Rochester Rising YouTube channel. Also this week, I got to talk with Dr. Philip Kish, who is the owner of Optimal Movement. Optimal Movement is a boutique style clinic located uh, here in Rochester. They've been in business for about four years and it was really interesting to talk with, with Phil and understand really how intentional he and his team were with de designing Optimal Movement. And actually this 
weekend, they're hosting the grand opening of their brand new yoga studio. It's an attached yoga studio. Um, we talked about how ironic the timing was when he closed on the studio in February. You know, no one knew that, that COVID was going to happen, but now they're finally able to uh, open that studio this weekend. And there's very limited spots so people can spread out. So if you're interested in that, you can find more information on the Optimal Movement Facebook page about the grand opening of their studio. And they'll also have the Blue Duck Kitchen food truck there Saturday and Sunday serving brunch uh, for their grand opening. So you can find all of these stories on the Rochester Rising website. And I think one thing everyone can do who, that's listening right now, if you're listening on Facebook, wherever you're listening, just go up and like our page if you haven't already. And if you're listening on YouTube, please subscribe. This is the best way you can help us um, to, to get into the feeds on our channels, to hear our latest news and programming, and then to share it with others in the Rochester community or beyond who would be interested in entrepreneurship here in Rochester. And with that, I will send it back over to Jamie for any final thoughts. Thanks. Um, yeah, definitely. I want to echo what Amanda's saying about subscribing. That's really a way that we could really know that you're listening to us, uh, that you're hearing uh, what we have to say, and you're liking what we have to say. So please uh, take that time. I think when we look at our analytics, you know, someone will just jump in and they'll kind of consume the content that way and leave. Uh, but just please, you know, right before you're going to leave that site or that page or your Facebook page or, or you know, scroll out to something else, just just give us a like or, or a subscribe. That really helps us out. Um, so some final thoughts. First of all, uh, I'm really proud of the Discipline Entrepreneurship class uh, in general. The attendees have been great. I think they've learned a lot. So I just wanted to really echo what Amanda was saying. I think they've just done a fantastic job. And uh, I can't believe it's, it's over almost. And I just wish them well uh, in the future and hope that they continue to build their businesses. So my final thought today is, is something that it took reading Brad Feld's new book, Start, The Startup Community Way, for me to, uh, in many ways, sort of run back to my, my original programming or my original DNA as, a, as an ecosystem builder. And that's, that's come, uh, it, it sort of hit me like a ton of bricks that something that I don't think I'm personally doing as well as I used to was reaching out to entrepreneurs in our ecosystem and actually engaging with them as much. I think we've really focused on building up Collider as an organization. We've focused on getting more entrepreneurs into the funnel, but I feel sometimes that we've sort of taken our eye off of uh, really the, the reason we're here, which were the entrepreneurs. Um, so I know we've done a fantastic job with uh, our ecosystem navigator program and the work that Amanda's done reaching out to entrepreneurs, but for me personally, I think I've gotten away from that. So I'm doubling down and recommitting throughout the course of the rest of the year to reconnect with all the great entrepreneurs in our region to really understand um, you know, what they're looking for now. What's, what's the situation they're in? You know, I'm part of this E1 network group uh, and we were fortunate enough to hear yesterday from uh, someone who's doing an acupuncture business in Winona and hearing about her struggles right now and really the bright spots of her innovation, how uh, she's doing basically drive into the parking lot, uh, you move over to the passenger seat of your car and she'll actually come out and do the entire acupuncture session right there while you're in the passenger seat of your car. Um, so she's trying to find innovative, innovative ways to keep her clients coming in. And I think that you know, again, personally, I need to be out having those discussions with entrepreneurs again, because I know everybody's hurting in their own way and everybody's innovating, which is super positive. Uh, but I, I think we just need to reconnect with our entrepreneurs, ask them how we can help them, and then really, you know, take that to heart and create um, content, education, programming, or just give a simple connection. I think if we do that, um, we're going to help these entrepreneurs move forward and be successful. And in the future, um, I, I just, I, I see that that's the way that we're going to get through these tough times. So 
uh, with that, I'll send it back to Amanda. All right. So just a reminder, give this video a like, subscribe wherever you're listening, whether that's on Facebook, on YouTube, or on Instagram, uh, so that you keep up with all of our content. So thanks for listening, and we'll see you next Friday at 10 a.m.